All right, second one in the solving trig identity equations using quadratics. This one's slightly more complicated. 2 sine squared theta equal, or x equals cos x plus 1 over the domain. 0 is less than theta, which is less than 2 pi. So something that should ring alarm bells straight away is that there's a sine and a cos in there. And that's a big issue. You can't, you can't deal with that. Luckily, you've got your Pythagorean identity, and that'll, that'll help you get part of the way there. Uh, now, if I look at 2 sine squared theta, I should look at sine squared theta and realize straight away that that's the same as 1 minus cos squared theta. So using the Pythagorean identity, I can say 2 times 1 minus cos squared, I keep saying theta, don't I? Cos squared x equals cos x plus 1. So I've just replaced that with 1 minus cos squared x. Now I can expand this to minus 2 cos squared x equals cos x plus 1. Now I'm going to play that mathematical trick where I let cos x equal something. Uh, let's let it equal u is a popular choice. So let's let it equal u. 2 minus 2u squared equals u plus 1. A u squared, a u, and some constants. If I rearrange this, I'm going to end up with 0 equals 2u squared plus u minus 1. Now, at this point, you should be able to look at 2u squared plus u minus 1 and use um, the decomposition method or the cross method um, or maybe even the quadratic formula to solve for you. Uh, but I'm going to factorize this. And that's something that you should be familiar with. If, I, if what I'm about to do, you watch it and you don't know how I did it, you need to talk to me and we'll, we'll take it from there. This bit here is going to factorize to be 2u minus 1 bracket u plus 1. Now I've just done the composition me decomposition method in my head there. I'm not going to spend time on it. But come and talk to me if you have no idea how to get from that to that. It's a skill. You need it. Okay, null factor theorem, because 0 equals 2u minus 1, u plus 1. Therefore, 2u minus 1 equals 0, or uh, u plus 1 equals 0. That means that u equals 1 half, or u equals negative 1. So I've got two answers here, u equals 1 half, u equals negative 1. You should be familiar with this because this looks identical to the last video. If I know that u equals 1 half and I know that u equals negative 1 and I know that u equals cos x, that means that cos x equals uh, 1 half and it means that cos x equals negative 1. Okay, if I look at this, it looks like I'm going to end up with two answers from here because I'm working between 0 and 2 pi. I'm going to end up with one answer here. Uh, I'm going to have three answers altogether. I'm not going to go through all of the working here. I can tell you that the answers are x equals pi on 3, pi and 5 pi on 3. Uh, and that's... The that's it. That's, that's the whole game here with solving trig identity equations using quadratic part 2 equations. Now, I've glossed over a lot of things there. Um, you need to know how to get from here to here. If you don't know how, you need to talk to me. And obviously, there's some working that happened behind the scenes here that you should be super comfortable with. This is the passing of football, the easy bit that we talked about. We've talked about at length. All right, get stuck in.